Raider Nation, stand up. Please stand up. The Cover 3D Raider podcast. Dwayne Douglas here, Sean Oahu Raider, and Monster Mash Ken will be joining us shortly. You know, he, he, it's, a little snow, it's a little snowy out there in, in Jersey for, for, for our brother out there. Snow delay. Yeah. Snow delay, no question about it. I want to thank people for listening to the show in Delano, California, Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, Pleasant, Pleasant Grove, Utah, Dallas, Texas, Sentinel, Colorado. They're second on the list for most listens, by the way. So good job by, wow. uh, by Colorado. Forget the Broncos. Thank you, Bronco fans. Yeah, thank get you. the yeah, Broncos. Ash in Ashburn, Virginia. Um, shout out to Bourbon Raider. Always supports the show. And, oh, yeah. and Dr. J um, and D uh, also um, pr- pr- um, always pr- always um, pr- supporting the show. 858-429-9465 is the text line number. So we got text, We have some questions off of that. Hopefully we can get to it. But it was a busy day for a team. I always, I always laugh about this, um, Sean. For a team who doesn't have a lot of playoff wins, for a team that doesn't really you know, win a game, win a lot of games, and are in the mix yeah. in the postseason, it seems like there's always drama and stuff going on with the Raiders. Um, it looks like Vincent Bonsignor, who is probably the most in tune to the organization um, type guy, um, made had us drop the story today talking about the Raiders and teams are inquiring about Derek Carr. This seems a little bit more real than in the past i think like you know i i've, I've always been always been a guy who kind of kind of says uh blow, blow, like kind of brush it off my shoulder that carl carl would get traded but um if it, this is if they do trade him and it is for deshaun De- deshaun watson this oh, would great. be yeah. this this would be the only deal that i would do yeah. because to me i feel like him and stafford are very similar um, you're adding, if you do, if you did, you if you do add it, if you do add this guy, you're talking about a guy who is a dynamic playmaker, right? No. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that the same sentiment kind of hit with me because when I seen that there were eight teams in the running for Stafford, or at least put their name in the hat or had an offer on the table that to me and instantly thought, well, at, for sure, because Stafford and Carr somewhat have similar skill sets and abilities. I'm thinking if eight people went in for Stafford, some of those teams are still looking for a veteran quarterback. Uh, Mayock's going to get some phone calls, but um, did I think it would amplify to this kind of magnitude this quick? I didn't. Um, You know, last year was obvious, you know, Tom Brady, they had some interest, but just too much money for his age and requirements. But when you're talking about a player like Watson, like you just said, a lot younger, a lot more dynamic. Um, He's worth every dollar you're going to give him. Um, and he is he is an upgrade um, to Carr and for what we have in place to offer him. Um, but, yeah, for Vinny to come out like that, like, <clears throat> it blew me away. And I think Raiders Twitter and just every other social media platform that fans are on right now is really like wildfire because you're starting to see the blue check media that's closely tied to the team um, out this kind of story. So now the conversations to shift hey it's pretty easy for a fan to say yeah i'd rather have watson are you Dwayne? yeah i'd rather have watson or you know, and you know but, and sean you know i'm a car guy so like i mean i, I can't right, right. I, i'm but it's all about for me it's not about anything ancillary it's more about it's just about football and yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and football wise watson is a better player i can't and i think and i think that's pretty simple for everyone to say the hard part is hey we still need an upgraded defense um we still cannot we have a tricky cap situation um, so at what point does, if there is an opportunity, um, for a car to be trading to another team to acquire assets to get Deshaun or for a car to go straight to the Texans in a package deal, um, is it worth it? Uh, I think it is, but, but what do you have on the table after you acquire Watson that still allows you to go out and get another wide receiver that still allows you to add like three new starters on defense that still allows you to have somewhat of a entertaining draft. Um, so th- that's where the hiccup with me is, is it's, I'm all for it, but we're year four of Gruden. Like, can he just acquire Deshaun and go six and 10 and say, now I got my guy. I don't know, but uh, it's interesting. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm trying to, I'm trying to pull this up on the screen if I can, I'm going to see if I can do that here. If I can do that here, if I can't, if I can't, it's okay. Um, but I'll just read it then if I can't pull it up, but there was a tweet, there was a tweet by Hayden Nobley, um, you know, a good, a good Raider guy. He, yep, yep. I, I, I've had him on my show before. He said he tweeted today and you can see his stuff at, um, HB, HB Nobley. Um, it's releasing guys like, um, like, uh, TB Mariota, 
Ty Williams, Joyner, Nasbeth would still mean they'd have what would mean they'd have cap they'd have cap space to acquire Watson and at least two impact defensive players. Yeah. So I really don't I really want to see those two those two linebackers play with Gus Bradley. Correct. Yeah, so, and Quitowski, and, right? and because I watched both of those play, both of those guys play under defensive coordinators who had an actual brain, unlike PG. <laughs> <laughs> so just, just to be, just to be honest, yeah, right? So yep. yeah, so like, so I mean, just competent and defensive have have comp, have competence competency there. Um, so I mean, I mean, those guys are not, you know, really. You know, Trent Brown would be a little would be a loss, but I mean, listen, you're talking about probably like four picks, like, like, like probably like. Right. I mean, so to me, it might have to be. A, the rumor is that it was three teams and invo- three teams involved. Right. So, would that mean Carr is going to? It could mean another team. Yeah. Another team, like, like I mean, is it because I'm hearing the Colts? Colts, and then the Niners were the other name that I heard, but the Niners are probably going to be shopping for a multitude of options so we'll see but the Colts was interesting because the Colts are in the same division as the Texans so you have to wonder it, it, how do they value that or work see, uh, and, 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 and to that point I'm hearing I'm hearing the Colts are in more on Darnold I'm hearing more Colts with Darnold than I'm hearing that yeah. I mean they're hearing Carr with, although Carr and I guess I got and I would just reiterate the fact that this is the only trade <laughs> that Dwayne yeah. Douglas would make. Like I, I would not, I, 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 I would not, I would not entertain trading Carr um, if it wasn't the, if it wasn't Deshaun Watson. Like yeah. you, you, you like, like you, you cannot like, like if you if you're on that if you're on that page where you're debating that, then you are just you're not. It's not about football for you. It's it's emotional. Yeah, like, it, it's, it, 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 it's emotional. So it, 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 it doesn't worry about it. So I'm looking at the team, and like I'm saying to myself, could you? In in a in a, in a in a deal with the Texans, would you be able to justify letting go of Carr and Waller? No, no Waller. You can't do that. He's our he's our most proven offensive weapon on our entire roster from a skill set position. Yeah, mm-hmm. Josh Jacobs has done some good things, um, but no, you have to keep him because he lines up outside, he lines up inside. He, you give Watson or whoever, you immediately a strong, strong weapon. And while you're wow. allowing Ruggs, Edwards to develop, but guess what? You also have Hunter Renfro who knows uh, Watson uh, on a personal level because they played at Clemson together. So I like that, but uh, you have to keep Waller. Waller's not a guy this organization went out and found, I mean, they've had so many misses and trades and free agency and these kind of things. If you're trying to upgrade a quarterback, they have to come in with some weapons. I mean, if you're Watson and your agents in this, and they're saying, we're going to trade you to Las Vegas, uh, but Waller's being dealt as well. You're going, well, what am I going to Vegas to throw to? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, exactly. It, it, an upgrade from Brandon cooks and hurt Will Fuller and the same people he was hacking the ball to, which he still did a great job. But I'm just saying like, you would want him to come with some sort of luxury already in place for him, whether it's a stable offensive line, Josh Jacobs and Waller, you, you have something or the same thing, at least that Carr was able to use, but uh, yeah, you can't, you cannot deal Waller. That's your gem. That's your fine. That guy was almost out the league. So he earned every right to stay. And if you're, if you're trying to upgrade a quarterback, you can't, downgrade a top three tight end off the roster no that'd be that would be kind of I'm, I'm just i'm just throwing stuff out there to make to, to, to try to see where where the line would be um because because if you're having a conversation yeah. about about trading him um you know everything everything might be have to be on the table um you can you there's no way you could absorb the, the, the jj watt 17 million as well Ooh, either that's hard and well 17.5 and that's hard it would have to be a um you'd have to not restructure because that pushes him longer as a tenured player, but you'd have to re-sign or you you cannot take that. So unfortunately that would be nice. Um, They have, what is his name? Marcellus Whitney to have some other players on the defense. I'm not seeing, I'm not, I'm not seeing him on the. I, I, it's funny because like I always, I, I often I almost, wonder. I, I often he wondered. Actually, did move. Yeah. He moved. Yeah, I often wondered where Eddie Vanderdose went, and now I, he's on. He, he, he's he was on the Texans last year. Um, and so is um our, our big boy in the middle went there as well, right? Um, defensive tackle. I can't remember the name passing me by, but regardless, I don't think there's enough there that you can push for in the defensive side of the ball. I think you just, what you're doing with this is you're going to get Watson. You're going to say, we've had five first round picks of two last years. 
didn't move the needle too much. Let's see what we can develop. Uh, let's expunge these and now say, you know, we're, we're closer from a dynamic quarterback perspective to, you know, and, patching up all the other holes. And why not? I mean, if they're going to, if they're going to like, if they're going to get rid of all these um, contracts, why not just say, Hey, let's throw in, um, let's throw in, a, let's throw in Brandon Cooks. That's an interesting one. He's off injured, concussed, and everything. But you know, um, the had a, the numbers were great last still, year. Though. He still can do it. A he thousand still yards it, but, all, but all day and all night. Eight games, you know. But, but but you're right. That's a good point. And the name that oh, it surpassed me earlier was PJ Hall. PJ Hall uh, was on the Texans. <laughs> he started the season for them. Yeah, yeah. So PJ good Hall and Vanderdose, two uh, defensive line busts uh, out there in uh, Houston. But um, yeah, I, I I mean it's it, it's just interesting. Um, I, I agree with you, Dwayne. I feel like going it's, into last year, it's going to happen. Gray, I feel like it's a lot. I don't know if it's going to happen. Um, I just feel like this year, what's on the table is a lot more with the amount of teams that are looking to move and acquire quarterbacks. And with a, a very top heavy quarterback class, there's going to be probably 12 new. I mean, half the league might have a new face under center. So um, you know, if, if there's a perfect time to trade Carr, it's when he almost beat Mahomes twice. He beat Drew Brees. He had, uh, you know, overall he he won on the road in Kansas City. He won well, the, the sex, the, so the the team was great on the road this year. Yeah, right. So you either hold on to that, or you say, hey, this is this is the pinnacle of Derek Carr. This is about where we're gonna get with him, no matter what. Um, you know, if his value is that high and we feel like we can obtain a quarterback upgrade and still have enough assets for Bradley to improve Littleton, Kwiatkowski, and to add a few new pieces, then maybe this is when you do it. And, and how much does it hurt you anyways, knowing that Mahomes is looking to go for back-to-back -back Super Bowl victories? I mean, it, it, it's tough. The division is forcing you to force your hand. Um, and, and this would be huge. I mean, Gruden got a, he If he gets rid of Carr, he got rid of Khalil Mack. He got rid of Amari Cooper. He got rid of Derek Carr. If you're going to do all these things, it better be in the name of, hey, eventually I'm going to at least win the AFC West. <laughs> I mean, like I said, this is, this is, this is, I mean, if you're going to, if you're going to make a deal, um, this is going to be, this is going to have to be it. Um, I'm not, look, it, 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 I think the one thing that I'm looking at here, uh, I say I'm saying one thing as uh, Monster Mash Ken enters the building. Uh, yeah. A little blood sport t-shirt on. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, w w before you came in, we were talking about the Vincent Bonsignor. Um, the tweet that he just put out. Tweet that he put out and everything like that. Let's talk about, you know, tra possibly trading car. And, you know, it's, it's, it's right there. Like, I mean, like, I mean, I, I kind of, for the first time, for the first time in a long time, um, I'm gonna. I, 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 I think it's. I think it's gonna happen. Um, I put this thing up here right here, real quick, just to talk about um, the Rams, who have just totally forgotten about. They said, "Hey, no way. We don't care about first round picks. We're gonna go out here and just, just, just get stud after stud after stud." So I think that's something that you gotta that you gotta think about as well. Like, is is you know, McVay and him are very are very tight, very close together? Maybe that's something um, that I grew just thinking about as well. I want to say something because it sucks that they put that out. Uh, <laughs> I I swear to gosh, I would do, I'm on my screen. I was looking at all the the past future or the past first round picture the last five years, and I was going to say something about it. Then I see this tweet it's like totally jams up my whole spiel I was going to do yeah, so because simple. it's so hard to hit yeah. on these on these players. I mean, yeah. um, I mean sometimes you have really good drafts and sometimes you don't, you know, but. Um, do they really matter that much? I mean, wouldn't you rather want somebody that's proven uh, talent? Yep. I think that, you know, there are cases that, yeah, as long as they're going to a good team, you know, yep. a well-coached team. And that's what worries me about the Raiders because we're, I don't think that we handle talent well. So if we go to a team, an we don't handle the draft well at the all. Draft, the draft or free agency. <laughs> we just we don't know what yep. we're doing. Yep. <laughs> Which was so, one of Gruden's everyone knew before he came that's not his strength <laughs> yeah it's like the development of these players like you can bring in a player like deshaun watson and trade the farm for him but is he gonna excel like look at Mariota. like he's sitting in there or, or rugs he's sitting it just doesn't make any sense to me so we're damned yeah. if we do we're damned if we don't but we're screwed either way in the end so as fans so i, I don't I think, know i think what's interesting about that is you you talk about watson's former coach bill o'brien i mean he just ran that organization traded DeAndre Hopkins, 
pissed off Watson. Like, how many strikes did he have and what he did on that team? I, mean, I think it was – no, 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 I, no, I totally agree with you. I totally agree. Yeah. So, and that started the, the beginning of the end for Watson, your interim coach, then the team's talking about doing different things, and now he's looking around the locker room where all my boys at, and it's just different. But if you talk about it, Ken, that's a good point. So you think about it. Jaguars, Browns, Lions, Raiders. How many years of first round, first round, first? It's coaching and it's manipulating your tr your trade capital with what works for you. It's not always a first rounder. It may be flipping a third and a fourth and getting a guy that's great value. It's just different things that you can do. Uh, you look around the league, a lot of these stars aren't first rounders. They're, they're yeah. gems. I mean, look at Russell Wilson in the third round. I mean, just look at go down the list. There's so Tom, many Tom Brady. Tom Brady, right? And That's it. That's the example right there. Tom Brady, the greatest of all time. Tom Brady. Like Travis Kelsey and all these, you know, Gronk, Gronk was a second rounder. Wasn't a first rounder. These, and everyone knew ahead of time, you know, it just doesn't seem to always come to fruition that way. So because Mayock has, I, I guess you could say the bulk of what he's on best at is more of his mid-round picks. So, I mean, if you're going to vacate a few firsts for a year and have a quarterback that. I, yeah, I kind of think that. that what it, I don't know. Yeah, I, I kind of think Gruden is the one's picking the first round. <laughs> oh, he has to be. He has to be. <laughs> yeah, has like, to be. I, I think, I think, I think, because like it's very similar to he he took Cal like Anderson, whatever a Cal like Cal like Williams, whatever, Williams, Williams, whatever his name is, Cal Anderson plays for the Spurs. Sorry. Like Josh, uh, Josh, it, it, Josh it's just the same thing with Josh Jacobs. Like to me, like, I think they, I think he watched film on Cleveland Farrell and watched it over and over and over again. And when you watch something over and over again, you you can make your eyes see what you want to see. Like when I watch film, when I watch film and I scout like um, you know, scout like a, a player from out of college, I only watch it once because if it doesn't pop immediately, then yeah. and then then <laughs> what are you watching over and over and over for? It's not gonna pop. It's not there for you. So, um, you know, listen, um, the, the statement that I had up before says uh, how many teams actually hit on those picks. The Rams are simply eliminating the risk by moving their moving them f moving for established players. And that's from a former um, NFL vice president. And just I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, Good. is Abram is Abram and Arnett worth one Jalen Ramsey? <laughs> Absolutely. And, and, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's absolutely. It's like, so. would you rather front <laughs> what, what they're talking about fronting for Deshaun Watson? Or would you rather end up picking like Zach Wilson out of BYU at 17? I mean, what would you rather do? I mean, like he, he, you're strapped, right? It's like, interesting it's that the Jets, commodity. <laughs> it's interesting to me that the Jets are not, because he's, he, because like, you know, when you hear from him, hear from, when you hear from Schefter, when you hear, um, oh yeah. When you hear Schefter, you hear um, his friend, I forgot, Chris Mortensen. Uh, when you hear both of those guys talk, they're, that's coming straight from the, um, Deshaun's agent. 100% coming from his agent. So, like, when that happens and you hear the Jets and you hear the Dolphins, it's surprising me that they're not, that they're not being more aggressive considering they have the multiple picks. And he, and he does want yep. to actually go there. And so, both could move first-round quarterbacks that could appeal to mid-tier teams, right? Darnold yeah. and Tua. And, and two, I mean, like I, I know the league is really. I mean, Tua needs a rebound real bad because oh, yeah. the, 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 they're ready. Because the teams, yeah, the, yeah the, the, the teams in this league are, does the, they what, what they've written about him after this first year has been pretty bad. Um, but I did mention this earlier before you got here, Monster Match Canada. This is the only, and you, you know, I'm a car guy as well. Yeah, this is the only deal I would make for to, to, to move on from Car. Only, I, the, only, I, only quarterback. I would. Okay. I got a ba I got a backpedal here because I I'm glad you said that a, a few shows ago I said you asked me directly I think Sean or somebody asked me would I you, remember you know, what you said yeah I said I would stick with Carr over Watson okay two different types of players here and let me tell you why I feel like it's time to move on from Carr because at that point we were still in the season I thought Carr was still moving but I feel like yep. n n everything that's coming out and and just the the demeanor and even for Carr himself as a human being, like it's probably better for him just to leave. It's better for the Raider yeah. Nation. It's better for everything just to hit reset. He's a good player. He's not a bad player. He's going to – I think he's better than Stafford, I mean, in some areas, you know. Mm -hmm. I think that he's mm -hmm. going to get – they're very, they're very similar. Yeah. The reason why I like Watson coming in, different, different player, 
more dynamic, definitely can as a playmaker, you know, and with with what's going on in the AFC West, you're going to need somebody with that caliber. But he brings in other people. People are going to want to play with this guy. Yep, My absolutely. Player, Hunter Renfro is going to benefit from this. And I'm being that's that's it. Like is is he's going to make plays and and I think that it's good for the organization. It's good for Las Vegas. Get Carr out of here. Get him to one of these other teams uh, like the Colts or even the, the Patriots. I don't know. Bye. But uh, I wish him nothing. If, if it is his time, if it is, then I wish him nothing but success. If he stays here, I, I hope he gets you know us over the hill because last season i don't think it was, it was anything was his fault for the record that we had i mean he kept us in the games for the most part it's just the other things that are going on and then we go back to even that vest thing i mean that's just stupid of him to do and the the, the, the heat of the moment you don't do things like that and i think he knows and and it sucks going on twitter because there's these wars. there's people fighting on Twitter and getting kicked off Twitter because they can't represent who they like. I'm scared to like I don't even know what to say anymore on Twitter. It's it's stupid. It should be I don't know. I I'm gonna backpedal. I would welcome Sean. Let me ask in. Sean. Let me ask. Let me ask um, Ken one question real quick. Be, uh, same question I asked Sean before you got here. Sure. The deal is set. They say Watson, Carr, last minute. They change it and say, "Okay, we'll give you something. We'll give you a little bit. We'll give you some draft capital back, and we'll mm-hmm. give you, and we'll give you, and we'll give you, like, say, well, they'll throw in maybe Zach Cunningham. So you have three linebackers who, who who's a, a Zach Cunningham. Cunningham a beast. I'd love that. Yeah. Cunningham fits what you want to, what um, what Gus Bradley wants to do, but I need eighty three as well. I need Waller too. Oh man, you know." I think it's okay. I do. Okay. Okay. I think it's okay because of the type of player that Watson is, and, and then the game plan kind of changes a bit. And then, you know, you have players like Renfro, you have Moreau still. Moreau's jersey stock just went up, Dwayne. Yeah. <laughs> Moreau went for number one, yeah. TE1. TE <laughs> uh, but I think, I, I do think that if you trade uh... Carr, Carr and Waller, you do have to throw it because Waller, I think you could trade right now for one and a two or something like that. So that, his salary is very low. For a player of his caliber, yeah. but but you bring Watson in, and he's well, I don't know what his contract looks like, but he, if he comes in and they have to resign him, he's going to be pay, he's going to be the highest paid quarterback, hands down. I guarantee that. I guarantee that. He so, just signed last in 2020, but go oh, ahead. he did. Okay, so he yeah. still got some. He still got yeah, some three time. years. I think three years left. On Gug. Yeah, so but two things funny there. So your boy Tanner Muse, John mm-hmm. Simpson, Cleveland Farrell, Hunter Renfro. And Deshaun Watson, we got Clemson U in the house for sure. Yeah, um, uh, another thing that I wonder, and I was tweeting this just as a joke because I'm pretty satirical and non-serious on Twitter, but honestly, Nelson Aguilar, what does he say if he looks, oh, Watson's here? What is, does I'll that change in. anything? Does that change like I'm going to go get paid by Miami and I don't care, I already want a ring in Philly, I just want as much money as possible and I'm done? Or does he go... Deshaun Watson's coming to town. Okay, you guys want seven and a half mil per for me. Okay, maybe I can work eight and a half or something. But it's interesting, like you said, Ken. I think, I think you start to attract a different type of free agent with this type of move. Yeah, I um, do. I think and so. I think Vegas kind of has the appeal for a lot of mid-career type players that want a safe blanket to to nestle down in an affordable lifestyle. Income um, tax. Income tax, yeah, yeah. Gruden is, doesn't have the best reputation, of, but but he does, you know, cater to his players a little bit. But when you have a guy like Deshaun in there, um, I, I feel you're, you're changing the precedence of what's happened. And I think like when you look at the workplace in general, just the jobs me and you, all of us have, whatever we have, I think like complacency can be toxic. I think when you come into the same job every day and you don't have to worry about losing your job, you don't have to worry about this or that. And this goes the accountability for the tire Raiders. This goes for Gruden, who has a 10-year deal, who Mark Inc. isn't going to touch. This goes for Carr, who's been there for seven years, going on eight, and he's, I'm a Raider, bro. I'm here for life. I'm going to be a politician in Vegas. You can't be talking like that. You're assuring yourself something that can be taken away from you at any given time. So I feel like what's happening right now, it might be a culture shift. Um <laughs> Maybe not in the most positive way indirectly immediately, but, you know, just, hey, we're in a new city. We may need to reinvent ourselves with a superstar power at quarterback, and that's what they're trying to do. So 
Also, you we'll think see. about we didn't have fans in the seats uh, this season, good so it's a, yeah. it's a good opportunity to 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 do that. And you saw we saw how much these seats are going to go for. They're gonna want to see Showtime. They're gonna want to see some magic. And I don't think Carr brings that level. Carr is a good game manager. He's not gonna. He, he might make like one amazing play, maybe, you know. But Deshaun makes them consistently, you know. And uh, they they're gonna have to look at it as a business, a business aspect you know so that we had we had um, bob carr on the show um before as well right so let's so let's just look at some of this something he tweeted um the other day or tweeted just recently about him and this shouldn't be breaking news or trending news unless of course it's a slow news day teams reach out to other teams about players on on their roster to gauge interest every year does it mean the player in question are on the market sure so, so just, I mean, just I, I feel I, I do I, I agree with what Bob's saying last year it felt like that this year it just doesn't feel the same you said it yourself Dwayne to me this year it just it just I'm sorry it just feels a little different and it's the landscape of the entire nfl right now you got teams already giving up on darnold already giving up on Tua, already giving up where on the jets Penny rumors Bridgewater. where's the dolphin yeah, rumors like is this well, seems like it seems a little weird now right doesn't it, it i do you're right. think i do think if deshaun I, I i think that the redskins are a destination that you have to watch out for i think that's a destination that you have to watch out for for sure that'd be very interesting i'm not sure i mean i'm we'll have to see i mean they they tried to get listen the whole thing was with 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 stafford was you know um yeah what's his name um mcveigh was in cabo on vacation you know that um, i i i think this dude was on i think this dude was in cabo as well um uh Stafford um the, the, the their their GM was was the director of player personnel with the Rams so they had a real insight with each other the whole time so that's how that deal got done because better 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 prospects better deals were pretty much on the table for Stafford but he but and, and but he refused to go in New England so New England took it out um so New, New England said no which is I think is a great I think it's a I think it's a sign of the fall of the empire nobody's going no there kidding nobody's going there no but nobody's the Patriot listen people don't want to hear it and and they were arguing about it on Sports Center today this morning but when Amendola said the Patriot way is Brady look at this season I mean I'm sorry <laughs> look at this season that's all I got to say. That's all I got to say about that. I got to say. Yeah, about I, I was dead wrong about that. I thought it was Belichick. I, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, it's all about the season. Um. Before-